Hi everyone. What you're looking at is a uh, Dremel tool uh, that has a diametrically magnetized uh, half-inch uh, cylinder by one-inch uh, neodymium magnet. And uh, this is an attempt to uh, replicate the effect of the um, Ukrainian inventors with that uh, kind of half toroid uh, motor generator. Uh, so I'm going to give this a shot. I haven't uh, glued on the toroid yet, but this is the uh, prime mover that I will use to uh, test this. And uh, what you saw there is the uh, Dremel tool turning at its lowest speed. So it has about, uh, I've seen it go up to 22,000 uh, RPM. So you're seeing it pretty close to there. Uh, it running there and uh, we'll look at the current I'll start or at the wattage that this is pulling So there you go, uh, it's uh, pulling about uh, 23 watts uh, with uh, nothing on it. I just wanted to do this test uh, of RPM and uh, all that before I go and install the toroid. And the uh, toroid that I use are these uh, steel toroids that I have. And what I've done is I've cut them in half. And there is a half of this uh, toroid. It's painted yellow one side, red the other. Um, so there you go, there's an exact half, and the other half here, uh, perfectly cut, and there you go. So the other half it has a uh, really nice tight winding on it, I'm giving this as best of a chance I can, and uh, I've used um, the 24 uh, gauge 24 uh, AWG uh, uh, magnet wire on there and the uh, coil has uh, about 1.5 ohms as it is there and it's got uh, I think I'm, I've got about four layers uh, worth so starting from here back and forth back and forth uh, four layers so that's what I'm going to now uh, glue on uh, these blocks here and everything is precisionly made so that when that sits in there it's perfectly set to half across that magnet so the uh, that toroid will sit beautifully there so I can't show you the gluing process but uh, I'll stop the camera and that's what I'm going to do now is just glue that on there okay so now I've uh, glued the uh, half uh, toroid on there this up here and uh, that is uh, centered uh, very very accurately just in case all this needs to be very accurate because you know basically it's using the effect of the effect of half the uh, pole here so right now I don't know if this is a south pole or a north pole anyways it's locked in half the pole right across there and I can tell you that for sure because if you look at the shaft there's it's binded so if I turn it now it jumps to the other half and now back to the other half so I don't even know if this motor is going to turn that this is the first time I'm going to try this and uh, we shall see I'll probably have to kick start it uh, to get it to turn because I don't think that motor is going to be able to turn that it's uh, pretty hard uh, just even just turn that with fingers quite a bit of cogging there and I have an idea of something to do to remove that cogging and first I just want to see if this thing has any merit merit to uh, continue so uh, here I've got my uh, alligator clips uh, connected to the outputs of the uh, coil here 
and they are coming to a 10 ohm uh, resistor that's a uh, precision 1% uh, 10 ohm resistor and uh, I have my uh, multimeter connected to that we shall put that on AC and we will give this puppy a start oh it turns okay so let's see here it's uh, already consuming 29 watts so a little bit more 5 watts that's not uh, too bad considering that toggy. Oh, and now it actually takes off. Uh, so, actually it needs a little bit of warming up this motor. So let's uh, let us let that warm up a bit and we will take a RPM reading. Uh, I think we can do that now. So it looks like about 18,100. Just going to turn it off for a second. I want to make sure that I have my optical uh, reflector. Yes, I still have it. I wasn't seeing it. So it looks like we will uh, reach uh, 19,000 RPM. Just below 19,000 RPM. Okay, let's look at our wattage. Oh, it's gone down, that's good. So probably about 26, 27 watts. Oh, we're back down to even 25. Okay, well that's encouraging. Actually, it just needs to be warmed up a bit. That's why I started the video with it uh, uh, operating. There you go. Well, actually, we're pretty close to being back to where we were. Right. We must be at uh, 22... Uh, uh, we must be around uh, 20,000 RPM now. Yeah, 19. 19,400. Okay, here's the big uh, moment. We put this under load. Oh, oh. Well, we're delivering 8.7 volts to our uh, 10 ohm resistor. That's quite a bit. That's um, oh. I don't know, close to 8 watts, but we are consuming oh, a lot more. Oh, this is not good. Uh, it's not working as uh, they claim, so I don't know what uh, all that's about. Um, I replicated exactly as they have shown. Exactly a uh, half the toroid and uh, I don't know maybe I have too many uh, turns on my uh, let's take an RPM reading now so we're 8,500 RPM 8,600 8,000, nearly 8,700. That's our voltage across our, our 10 ohm 50 watt resistor. And that is our power. Half an amp. 38 watts.
So, uh, I don't see uh, any free lunch here or uh, any advantage. Uh, I don't know if I fail to understand this or replicate the uh, effect, but um, it does not seem to be working as it seems to be claiming. Anyways, uh, there we go. Thanks for watching. Bye now.